Is it okay if I don't say that Ratty in Winter of the Willows was a natural fact of water bowl? Because I think everyone knows that already, don't they? Everyone says that. Yeah? Cool. The water vole. Britain's largest vole species and one of Britain's most charismatic animals, but also one of our fastest declining animals as well. Loss of habitat throughout the mid 1900s and then during the later 1900s the introduction of mink took its toll. 1990s, unfortunately, their population decreased by about 90%, but still one of my favourite animals and where better can you see them than at the British Wildlife Centre? Not even Cheddar Gorge, Richard. Not even Cheddar Gorge. But seriously, the waterfall enclosure is probably one of my favourite enclosures at the Wildlife Centre at the moment. And we have a young family out there, two adults and four kits, that regularly come out. If you want to come and see our water voles, best time is early in the morning, after 10 o'clock when we open. They're active very frequently then. They probably die away again for a bit in the middle of the morning, and then pop out again early afternoon and then probably another spell of activity near the end of the day as well. And you can see here, they, they're brilliant, swimming through the water, climbing up onto the banks, on the little feeding islands we have there. I, I mean, I could spend hours watching them, and um, have done in the past as well, taking photographs and taking these few video clips too. But we do breed our water bowls here at the centre. We have many off-display pens, which many people aren't aware of, in which we breed our water bowls. And then we use the youngsters that are bred from these to help maintain our display island but also to introduce out onto our nature reserve as well and we have reintroduced waterfowls out there for a few years now I think this is the third year that we've done it and they have been regularly spotted as well and if you do see a waterfowl out there you know, do, do come up to one of us and tell us because we like to know and we actually keep a record of it as well just to show how successful it is and look at that hand feeding the waterfowl but out in the wild they would normally eat different types of grasses, reeds, sedges rushes sometimes, roots, tree bark, anything like this really. What we feed our water voles here at the centre is just a very basic mix of uh, rabbit food, a dried rabbit mix that goes out onto the islands every morning. Fresh apple as well, they love their apple. And certainly in our display islands, they can just help themselves to all the grasses and reeds that grow naturally around that too, and, and they do, and you see them doing that. So why not come along to the British Wildlife Centre and see our family of water voles out on the island they are brilliant this time of year, really settle in very well, and there is nowhere better to see them. And if for any reason you can't see our waterfowls out there, then it's not the end of the world. At least you'll be able to see our marsh frogs. <laughs>